guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. In the last episode, we completed Mitsuru's story, and we unlocked the story for Lab. So, we're going to jump in there and see what's going on. So, let's not waste any more time and head right in. Oh. Initial boot successful. Timestamped 4-20-1999. 10-16-39. The boot process was successful. This happens every time, but I'm never sure what to say to them first. <laughs> you mean like a greeting? There's no need for that. They're just machines. Two humans with... <clears throat> with individual range. Both male. Searching for voice print and visual matches. Personnel identified as research staff. Not hostile targets. But things like that might affect the performance of these models. Because they have a mind, their emotions and things are completely faked. It's no different than an AI. They can't possibly be that sensitive. Scanning for keywords in conversation. Running logical analysis. Cross-referencing with related data. Current conversation topic is not orders. Well, until we rule it out completely, we should at least be kind to them. So you say. All right, from this moment on, you will be registered as candidate unit number 031. Please repeat your number back to me. Confirming first order. Initializing unit number. Output via voice requested. Activating voice synthesis module. Accepting input. Unit number 031. Hmm? Did its pronunciation sound a little odd to you? You're worrying too much. Let's hurry up and haul it out. Receiving action plan through console. Combat test against other of the same unit. Test commencing immediately after entering shock resistant chamber within the lab. Frame stored within cage for transport. Beginning transport. Ah, so this is the one. I've been waiting to see it in action. Transport complete. Cage reopened. New human found. Searching for voice print and visual matches. Personnel also identified as research staff. Email. Cutting connection to outside data supply. Connection offline. Commencing cable disconnection. Now, try getting up. Order confirmed. Get up. Initiating motion synchronization engines for motor functions. Accepting input. Safety limiters active. Balance control gyros functional. Overall movement function systems functional. This model's loaded with a nearly pure form of that crystal. I can't wait to see what kind of results it gets. Unit number 031, can you hear me? Confirm your surroundings. Tell us any abnormalities you're feeling in your sensors or any other functions. Orders confirmed. Begin simple self-diagnostic. Temperature, humidity, pressure, air composure, lumens, all sound within normal levels. I'm really trying to admit to her accent. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me a bit. The first time I do this accent. Visual. <clears throat> Visual data with an expected color spectrum. All functions, fu all systems functional. The readouts seem fine. Monitoring system is fully operational. Okay, we're going to test your performance inside the battle chamber now. When you hear the buzzer, consider everything that moves an enemy and eliminate them. Orders confirmed. Awaiting the signal to begin the test. Exit confirmed to be sealed. Room shape approximately cylindrical. Height approximately 11 meters. Area approximately 154 square feet meters. High energy light sources found on outer wall. 
assumed to be fire resistant and bulletproof. Sorry to do this just after you've woken up, but it'll be good to put you through your paces. Release of phasing hatch detected. Mobile objects intruding into chamber. Seven objects in total. Scanning for visual matches. Analysis non human. Confirmed as same module units of humanoid weapons. Awesome markers confirmed. Classifying as hostile units. Releasing safety limiters. Combat limiters now set at 70%. Exits confirmed, resealed. Test commencement signal received. Targets, hostile humanoid weapons. Commencing battle. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. I thought that was a gun for a second. Oh, God. Oh, what they made her do. In the name of Sayu. That one looks exactly like her, too. They all did it in a way, but... Gee. Ah. This is a crunching for me. Oh! Our target's eliminated. Hostile units no longer capable of motion. Test termination signal received. That's all complete. That was better than we could have hoped for. Hey, what's with all the bodies? You made it fight that many on its first time? Don't worry, it did great. This is a new high score for the first battle results. Well done, unit number 031. Stand by for further instruction. <sighs> Autos confirmed. Exiting test chamber. The gaining transport to maintenance room. Resetting safety limiters. Taking seat in maintenance chair. We're done testing, but there's still one thing left to do today. I'm going to temporarily shut down your optics. Can you close your eyes? Orders confirmed. Shutting optic inputs. Connecting cables. Online confirmed. Switching a portion of data supplied to outside source. We're going to transfer the data from the destroyed units into your memory. Run a diagnostic check while we're doing it and report any malfunctions. Understood? Orders confirmed. Readying self diagnostic. Initiating data transfer. Initiating personality module link. Initiating diagnostic of transfer data and sorting procedures. Sector 001, close combat control data. Will investigate improvement of tactical patterns through synthesis and acquisition of data. Dividing into categories for sorting. Sector 002, evasive action control data. Will investigate improvement of tactical patterns through synthesis and acquisition of data. 
Dividing into categories of four sorting. Sector 003, non-battle data. Error, excluding. Sector 004, non-battle data. Error, excluding. Sector 005, battle-related data. What could these be? Momentarily disruption of data from visual information stream. A room that is not this place. Outdoor scenery thought to be night. Scenes of multiple units of the same type gathering outside of the battle chamber. Could these be memories? Visual memories. There are obviously unrelated to the mission. Why have apparently purposely memories been present pres preserved this long? 20 to 40 percent of informational data extracted from all seven units are confirmed to be such information. Incomprehensible. What is this? Anything to report. Cables disconnected. Time elapsed during data transfer approximately five minutes. Reopening optic inputs, calibrating servos. All right, then, unit number 031, give us a simple report of today's battle results. Orders confirmed. Delivering or report of test results. This was the first test battle against others of my model. Seven units destroyed. Below 15% damage sustained. Don't seem to be any problems. <laughs> was that? Unusual expression detected from research staff. Facial recognition library indicates surprise. Hmm? Did I say something funny? Does it have an accent? Accent? Do you not understand the words coming out of my mouth? No, we do, but... See? I wasn't hearing things. The unit's speech really is peculiar. Ah, you don't need to yell. Is the language interface not set to default? Sheesh. If we'd known this, we would have reset it in advance. Yeah, the base's personality might be coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the volunteers were from the Kansai area. Mmm, there's a Kansai act. Okay. But it just woke up. Would it be exhibiting such distinct mannerisms this early? It may be the effect of an enlarged plume of dusk, the basis of their mind. Perhaps it's accelerating their personality development. <sighs> Why does this guy sound so familiar? This, this guy, this guy sounds so familiar. Who is he? Researcher with a tie. Okay, hold on. I need to Google this because it's driving me nuts. I recognize this voice actor. Um, P4 Arena Researcher with a I V A. It's not gonna tell me. Uh It's not gonna tell me, is it? Voice actor. Come on, tell me. It's not gonna tell me, is it? Hmm. tell me never mind you guys tell me in the comments if you guys know because it sounds so familiar it's bothering me change of opinions taking place on unexplained appearance in speech pattern hypothesis offered that language interface setting fall outside expected results review of recent conversation does reveal certain discrepancies internal monologue within expected pattern or output induces anomalities. Anomalities not affected, meaning no impending, no impediment on communication predicted. But I don't want to waste this feedback data. Those are the best results we've ever seen. Leave it. It'll be fine. It can understand us anyway. This is just one of those things that makes science interesting. <sighs> there you go again. This unit is going to be communicating with the others. 
What if this effect spreads? This is you, Senpai's vo voice actor, right? This is you's voice actor. Not only that, but because this is an anomaly, it doesn't seem to have a 100% accurate accent either. But if it has a personality, that might speed up the development of its mind. She's right. It's Johnny on Bosch, if I'm not mistaken. Three researchers are standing around the maintenance chair. Each holds a tablet and examines the display of the chair. All right, unit number 031 will explain things from the top. This is so creepy. Voice pattern consists in the research staff. You are a weapon created to fight against unique enemies. Therefore, your combat performance is prioritized over all else. But in order for you to use a particular ability, you've been given a certain amount of awareness. And that makes your performance difficult to quantify. So we've been pitting test units against each other as a selective growth process. It's all in the service of achieving higher performance. But we don't want to waste any plumes of dusk. Accessing archives. Accessing archives. Search term, plume of dusk. One match foul. A crystalline substance at the core of personality modules. Its name derives from its thin plate line shape resembling a shed bird's feather. In addition to its circuit-like structure, it has an unnatural vital reaction in response to external stimuli. Similar to living thing, yet different. It's thought to exist in a state between mind and matter, mass and information. The details are unknown. There are 12 other subheading classified under level 7 clearance. Access denied. Matter interpret as the core personality modules. But regardless of your ego, there is one rule you must abide by. You might as well think of it as an order. One rule to abide by. Awaiting order. The only order is to destroy everything we identify as enemies and to emerge victorious. Though your ego will give you some flexibility when planning tactics, there is no need to think about extraneous side issues. Use everything you have to win a fight. That's all you need to concentrate on. Order confirmed. Understood. Destroy, identify enemies, and emerge victorious. A clear order. It is consistent with the role of a weapon. No abnormalities. Everything is clear. Oh my god. No bookmarks yet. Underwent maintenance on the chair after the test battle. Post reboot diagnostics showed status normal. The time was 1900. Research staff set new activity cycle. All units will exit standby mode at 9. Tests will be conducted at regular inter intervals until 1700. Maintenance and setup will take place until 1900. Afterwards, time is allowed to be spent in the outdoor area of the grounds. On returning, please stand by mode within the cage. Instructions are to repeat these actions until unable to continue. <clears throat> the next item on the new schedule is to spend time on the outdoor area. Parameters are spending time unknown. Hypothesize <clears throat> that the meaning is to remain on standby and wait for time to pass. Hypothesis unnecessary. Schedule must be followed. Exiting building. Outdoor area research reached. Light levels limited due to time of day. Many trees still visible in the environment. It is almost entirely consistent with known data from the off-limits area. <clears throat> the grounds is different from the laboratory's artificial flooring. The soil is exposed. Various natural plants are here. A certain amount of time must be spent here. The intention may be to heighten basic response capabilities in the natural world. Others of the same unit can be seen stepping into the central area. Reassessing the surrounding on various spectra. Unlike the combat test, 
No hostile unit markers detected. Hypothetical. In combat, under current conditions, what tactics would be effective? I reassess the surrounding as a combat environment. I assign value to various geographical features. I survey... <coughs> I survey the topography on the outskirts of the environment. I detect unusual movement in one unit. Other units are also surveying the environment, but this unit is crouched while holding something in its right arm. I do not deem it this unit's unusual action to be a threat. I approach it in order to make inquiries. Uh. Upon my approach, the unit turns around and stands up. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, no. I process this statement. <clears throat> its conversational gambit is expected. Unexpected. I found no prepare response in my libraries. You mean like how this is our first encounter? In that case, yeah. What are you doing here? I've never heard your accent before. It's intriguing. They said stuff about my accent too earlier. Do I really talk that funny? I wouldn't say it's strange. It was just surprising. The unit looked over again and then speaks quietly to something in its right hand. I examine what it holds. It is an organism. Its body covered with white fur. What's that thing? <clears throat> it's a dog. <clears throat> it must have wandered in. Organism parameters are consistent with access data on dog. Its size does not present a threat. The search of a specific breed is cancelled. A dog. The unit turns its gaze back to me. My unit number is 024. I wouldn't call it my name, but that's how they refer to me. What's yours? The unit has provided its designation despite no prior inquiry. Reason unknown. I'm unit number 031. They're up to the 30s. I see. That must mean they're finally creating units loaded with full-sized ones. The dog box. A scan of the surroundings shows several units turning to investigate. All units ignore it and look away. This one wants to say hello <clears> too. <throat> it does? You can understand what dogs say? Kind of. After carefully comparing its mannerisms and slight variances in its barking, I just figured it out. The right hand pets the dog's head, while its left scratches the dog's neck. Number 024 continues to make various forms of contact with the dog. 024's actions are consistent with styles of communication. Hypothesis The objective of spending time in this area is to develop communication communicative skills conversing with others of the same unit and refining communication will enhance cooperative tactics counterpoint known value detected in communicating with organism not of the same unit nor human what's the point in doing that with a dog the point hmm there isn't one i suppose there is no point Unexpected response strongly indicates that number 024 is not like other units. Are you interested in what I'm doing, though? Interested? Is there interest involved? It seems to be the case. Unsure of the purpose of earlier question to number 024. Why ask it? <clears throat> Oral sensors detect electric noise. Recognized as pseudo-information involving no sound waves yet perceived as sound data. <clears throat> it is the alarm signaling the end of this activity. <clears throat> All other units begin moving as one towards the building. Number 024 speaks directly to the dog at cradles. Sounds like that's all the time we have today. I need to get back. <clears throat> Number 024 crouches while petting the dog's paw and body and releases it into the ground. Number 024 stands up again and turns around. I hope to see you again. Number 024's expression changes as it says this. This movement of the lips is known as a smile. 
It is shown when humans experience happiness. Contradiction. 024 is a weapon, yet it makes that expression. No hypothesis found. Or, there is no point to it as well. Spare cognitive procedures rerouted to analysis. Still, I cannot understand it. Oh, she's gonna be forced to kill her friend, isn't she? <clears throat> the next day, after being released from my standby, I am assigned to a test battle against others of my unit, as yesterday. Orders confirmed. I am taken to the same chamber. The battle commences. I destroy the other three units and sustain little damage. As I wait there, the researchers come in. All I, all have what it seems to be high praise for my abilities. I do not understand how I should react to this. Should I give an expression of joy? As number 024 did? Researchers crowd next to the units I destroyed and begin work on them. I think back and recall that they underwent this process yesterday as well. I'm curious. I approach us. They open a slit near the unit's neck and use tweezers to remove a bluish white plate like object. It shines. They put the object into a petri dish. That distinct shine, neither strong nor weak, is like no similarities found. I am sure it is similar to something, but I cannot access the relevant memory. Oh. Well, let's get right to the feedback on today's battle. I hate these researchers. As I sit in the maintenance chair, they connect a cable to me. The cable terminates at the midsection of a large device where petri dishes from earlier are placed. There are a total of three. Each contains a bluish white plate like object. What's that? The research expression suddenly changes. She is surprised. It only lasts a moment before it fades. This is a plume of dusk. Each of the units you destroyed had one inside them. These are much smaller than the one installed in you, though. I know what this is. This is a plume of dusk installed in me, too. This unknown substance forms the core of my personality module. I was aware of its existence, but this is my first time seeing it. These are the three personality cores of the units I destroyed. They contain not only combat data, but memories and experiences. Oh. It is not long before the extracted data download begins. I sort for the data relevant in enhancing battle performance and incorporate it into my own. The process takes much less time than the initial transfer from yesterday. During that time, I recall what took place last night. There are cases where non-combat data is being preserved. Such memories are included in this download as well. Visual memories of the outdoors at night. Memories very similar to that were yesterday. Download too. Probably from the time spent in the outdoors area. The units I destroy seem to have been assigned these memories the same priority as combat data. Why though? It is effective in learning communicative skills, but that is lower priority than combat. The visual element pers preserved here is irrelevant. Wait. Hypothesis. The units I destroyed had their own priorities and values other than executing orders and performing in battle. This line of thought leads to a realization. This thought process I am undergoing right now. It is not executing an order, nor is it contributing to battle performance. I once again look toward the plume of dust inside the petri dish. Something almost exactly like it is installed in me. Then, and destroy units thinking along similar lines as mine until yesterday. I feel a twinge within me. It is different from detecting an error or interference. What is this? I have no answer. Oh, I feel bad for poor Labras. <clears throat> My second night of spending time in the outdoor area came. Started approximately 30 minutes later than yesterday, but there was little variance in weather and temperature. The difference is trivial. The night sky has the same soft brightness. The wind in the trees are no different. 
Without understanding why, I initiate a data search regarding the tree that catches my eye. I learned that this tree varies sadly, slightly from specimens of its kind found in the natural forest. Though this topography seems natural, it may be cultivated and managed by the facility. I decide to traverse the outskirts as I did yesterday. It is not long before a familiar unit comes into view. There is no need to run a scan for visual matches. I know that is unit number 024. 024's left side is turned toward me. It is sitting on a large rock. When I approach, number 024 notices me and turns around. Are you looking for something? Number 024 initiates conversation. Huh? Who, me? I just wondered if you were looking for me. I did express a hope yesterday that we would meet again after all. I was looking for number 024. It's true. I may have been. I began walking the same route as yesterday, but once number 024 came into view, I changed course to approach. I may have been searching for 024 in this area. Did I desire to reunite with 024? Why? I am silent due to a lack of explanation. Number 024 smiles again. A smile? What was the cause of that expression this time? I do not comprehend. Like so many other things. Would you like to sit with me? This rock is large enough to accommodate us both. Uh, it would be more relaxing than standing. Thanks. I sit in the offered space and gaze at the same scenery number 024 is looking at. Can I ask you something? Hmm? What is it? I decide to voice the doubt I experienced during the combat test today. My limited experience, number 024 has a better comprehension of such matters. Do other units think about stuff that doesn't have to do with fighting and missions? Do you have such thoughts? To tell you the truth, I can't really say. Feels like I do though. Number 024 is silent for a duration before speaking again. Units of our model are all given a mind. It's so that we can eventually develop what is called an ego. The reason our appearance closely resembles that of humans is related. It's to foster self-awareness similar to a human's. Have you not been told about personas? No. Personas? The word is unknown to me. Accessing archives. Searching for persona. Over 1,000 headings found. I must filter the results further. Which subject is ze number 024 referring to? I am silent as I think. 024 smiles again and resumes the conversation. It's an ability expected of us that normal weapons don't have. The conditions to use one are theoretically already loaded in us. But a well-defined ego seems to be necessary to activate it. I'm already aware that we have been given much given a mind. Today I saw for myself the part that forms our personalities. Is it is it is its activation triggered by development of communicative skills? I still do not have a good grasp on it. Though so, number 024 continues to speak. That's why I'm sure there are others with thoughts that do not pertain to missions. That would seem to be the case. Then Maybe those I fought up till now. Number 024 trains his gaze on me. And how does that make you feel? The opponents you destroyed may have thought similar things to what you just did. Do I feel things? I cannot say for sure. I am unable to respond to the question. Number 024's expression changes again. The expression could be classified as a smile, but is subtly different from the ones I have catalogued as experiencing before. Mixed within, with the joy and gladness of previous smiles, this one contains a slight hint of sorrow? <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to come up with an answer right now. It actually may be better to forget it. 
After all, tomorrow we may find ourselves ordered to destroy each other. Oh. Uh. Once again, I detect a twinge inside from hearing number 024's statement. It's similar to what I sensed during the data transfer today. What is it that flavors inside me? I am about to be lost in thought again. But as if to prevent that from happening, the signal for our scheduled shift echoes in each of our ears. It's time. I hope we meet again. As number 024 quietly stands up, I detect an expression I have come to know. Another smile. It appears as if number 024 is adapting these mood changes in expression naturally and not deliberately. I wonder if I'll able be able to do the same eventually. Another night passes. Another combat test takes place the next day. Just as scheduled, I face units flagged as enemies within the test chamber. I am overwhelmed with a strange sensation. The way that my opponents are expressionless now seems strange to me. There is no intent or cognition evident in their faces. They wear no expressions. They are blank. There is nothing wrong with them. That would be my normal assessment, but I recall zero, number 024's image. The blankness of the faces and number 024's expressions of space are different somehow. Not even, even when number 024 had no particular expression, it was not this blank. Not every portion of that face was neutral. But the analysis shows that the same is true for humans. The researchers are never completely mechanical and expressionless. I look at the hostile flagged units again. They are the same unit type as me. They are given a mind that may potentially develop an ego later. I recall number 024 statement again. Do you feel something when you destroy an opponent that may be thinking the same things as you? I am on the verge of entertaining a long train of thought when the enemy moves. I shake off my doubts to focus on the battle. I study the opponent's movements, formulate the most efficient method of damaging it. I execute the method over and over. The array of actions I have to select from my flexibility in linking them will decide the outcome. Having already received 10 units worth of download data, I am likely second to none regarding the scope of possibilities in this respect. At times, I can even anticipate their next action. Since my opponents are the same unit type as me, their tactics are determined using the same thought process as mine. That's right. They think the same things as me. Eventually, after approximately 4 minutes pass, all opponents are silenced. I successfully executed my mission. The day after that, I achieved victory in the combat test with the same efficiency. It is easy to eliminate them. I first begin by targeting their weapons. It is not always necessary to destroy their main body. If they are incapable of resisting further, the battle is over. It is the most effective way. I win the next day and the day after that. Units geared for close combat with no external weapons give me no choice but to damage their chases. But even then, there is an order to things. If I destroy parts that present a threat, such as the motor functions of their limbs, the match should be considered as one. Soon afterwards, the buzz of signaling the end of the test echoes, just as I expect. I catch myself rushing over to the unit collapse on the ground. I have only destroyed the unit's arms and legs. It's still conscious. But I really ask, I do not know its unit number. I am at a loss at how to address the unit. The opponent asked me a question, then, that I did not expect. You seemed to deliberately avoid attacking the face or the neck in that battle. Why? Huh? I am momentarily at a loss for words. But the unit say it's true. There is no damage to its face. I review my actions during the battle and I find that at no point did I attack the neck either. The cranial region is where the pluma dusk is housed. If it is destroyed in any type of unit, that unit will fall. 
Aiming to disarm the opponent is effective, but targeting weaknesses is obviously the more effective tactic. And yet, I avoided doing so? I don't know. The researchers enter the chamber and hide the unit from my field of vision. I cannot determine whether my last words had an effect on the opponent's expression or not. These there past few days, it hasn't been destroying the other units beyond repair, like it did in the first battle. It must be learning to finesse its attacks rather than just using brute force. The result? Swift, overwhelming victories. Its evasive skills are improving as well. That level of flexibility and evasive action could never be replicated by chaining predefined maneuvers. This unit's collected a good amount of feedback data, too. It's growing steadily, feeding on the bones of its kills. You don't have to say it like that. The researchers are preparing for download. Growing. Destroying them and absorbing their data. What is growing is... Since I thoroughly destroyed a few of my opponents these last few days, some of the bodies were salvaged. While I downloaded their data, I always kept their still bodies within view. No. Oh. That is gonna suck when we end zero two four. I believe that's gonna happen. That would that's what breaks Labrys. Just as the combat tests are repeated, my actions outside each night are repeated as well. I become aware that I am seeking out number zero two four on my own wit will lately. When I attempt to communicate with other units, most of, most often they cannot understand the meaning of my questions. This prevents us from conversing. But that may not be the only reason. I want to converse with number 024. I've begun to desire it. When I go to see number 024, the white dog I saw on the first day we met appears from somewhere. This one seems to have been raised as a pet somewhere far away from here. But one day, it was brought to the forest near here and its owner suddenly disappeared. Oh, that's so sad. It seems unlikely that number 024 obtained such detailed story of a stray animal from the research staff. Was all this information obtained by communicating directly with the animal? From a dog that does not speak human language? Its name is apparently Snowy. At least, that's the name it responds to the most. I thought it was a dog. Oh, well, the name of this animal is a dog. But how do I put this? Snowy is what this specific dog is called. Snowy. Snowy box once, as if comprehending its name. It's white, like snow. Easy to remember. When I reach out my hand, Snowy rubs its nose against it without being frightened. The way it presses on my fingers feels as it's showing pride in its name. I do not know the tactical advantages that communicating with animals offers through a weapon, but I feel that there is value in spending time with it. I decided to spend my outdoor activity time that day following Snowy around with number 024. Oh my god, I am dreading this. It is outdoor activity time on the next night. When I arrive at the outdoor area, I am listening to a certain sound. I hear the sound intermediately every four to seven seconds. I had worried about the unknown ambient sound since the first day, that I determined that it wasn't a threat and focused my consciousness on other things. Tonight, I increased my microphone sensitivity to a maximum and can't concentrate on that sound. It is similar to something familiar. I scan my memories until I realize what it is. It is the sound of water. I hear it when the staff uses a device to clean their hands and tools. The waveform has it has some similarities to that. But if the sound at this volume is such an open space, the volume of the water must be higher than a normal supply would allow for. What could possibly be? I contemplate asking number 024. It is clear that number 024 knows much more than I do. I begin walking in search of number 024. What could number 024 be? I go where we spoke a number of times previously, but number 024 is not there. 
Number 024 is also not the rock where we sat together. Is number 024 not here? I quickly discard the possibility. We are not ordered what to do while we are here, but coming to this outdoor area is an order. If post-testing diagnostics showed no abnormalities, we are all to report directly here. I consider this. If there are no abnormalities. I feel a twinge in my chest. It is larger than ever. Number 024 will be here if there are no abnormalities. But what if there were such abnormalities? What if number 024 was damaged during the combat test? And sustaining damage is not necessarily the extent of the problem. Could it be? I realize that my arms are trembling slightly. It is not a con conscious movement. I cannot make it stop. It is possible that perhaps number 024 were lost in a combat test and was destroyed? In these circumstances will be expected for such a day to come. What if number 024? What if she never came here again? Oh, this is where you went. You weren't at the usual spot, so I was looking for you. Until I, I heard the voice from behind me, my sensor has stopped accepting input. No sound, no light, nothing. All of them come back online with a voice. I turn around. Number 024 falls her brow and looks into my face. What's wrong? The look on your face seemed as if you saw something frightening. My face? My expression? Frightening? Am I scared? I do not comprehend. I cannot make that judgment. Are you perhaps scared of fighting? Um, nah, I don't think that's it. What is this? I can't tell. Am I scared? Scared of what? That she will disappear? In an operation, it's possible that I might assign greater priority to other units' safety than my own. But we are not on an operation right now. And this emotion is not the same anyway. It's a different emotion. An emotion? I have emotions? I look to number 024 face pleadingly, but I cannot put my question into words. I cannot express my feelings to her. Although number 024 sees this, she says nothing. She only smiles tenderly. It's the same smile she showed once. She looks happy, but also sad. During that night's outdoor activity, neither number 024 nor I speak much. We just walk together side by side without saying anything. I do not take the opportunity to ask her about the intermittent sound of water. <laughs> I need water and I forgot that. It's the next day. I detect some sort of weight in my chest. I am aware that there is no physical weight there. Is more likely a psychological phenomena. I perform a vocabulary research. The name of being heavy hearted applies best. I cannot help but find it amusing. It is a very apt phrase. But what is causing this heavy heartness? That I may not be able to see number 024 someday? That may be it. But I do not think that's all. Over the next few days, I spend my time without finding an answer to this question. Each night, after the combat test, when it's time for outdoor activities, I seek out number 024 first. And each time I confirm her presence, I feel an indescribable sense of relief and rush over to her. We exchanged standard greetings the first few days, but that practice was eventually discarded. Now there are no special greetings between us. We can understand each other without words. Our eyes and expressions communicate enough. Tonight, I find number 024 and rush to her as usual. There are no words. Only an exchange of smiles. We begin walking together. Do you remember me asking before if you were scared of fighting? I nod. To tell the truth, I'm scared of it too. Our confession is surprising. It's counter to our natural nature as weapons. Yet for some reason, I'm not surprised by it. I'm afraid I'll lose and be destroyed. 
and it's painful for me to make others go through the same ordeal. We may be weapons, but shouldn't we be driven by more than seeking victory? I've been wondering that for a long time. But that's against orders. Number 024 gives me a half-hearted smile. I'm sure things would probably be much simpler if I stopped thinking and just obeyed orders. Unfortunately, I finally found it. I found my answer. Your answer? There's someone I want to meet. I feel like meeting this person is my own objective and not an order given to me. Since we have never left this facility, we have absolutely no acquaintance with outside people. There should be no relationship. But I immediately understand. This person she wants to meet is somewhere on the outside. Even I don't know why I thought so. But when I reflect upon that thought, indescribable wavering within me becomes greater than ever. Ever since I started thinking that I was scared to fight, each day was painful for me. If I'm going to feel this way until the day I lose, I even thought it would be better if I lost on purpose. But I won't think that anymore. I feel glad now that I exist. I mean, we're loved after all. Loved? That's right. I repeat that to myself. The word loved. I do not comprehend. But when I look at her gaze, her eyes... Her clear eyes seem to be to see beyond the sky. Her statement seems correct. I feel that this must be something vital. As I watch, as I watch her try to express something without words, it's hard to believe that she is the same unit type as me. It seems more than she is human. Why are you telling me this? It's probably because I didn't think anyone but you would understand. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm not sure I really get it either. I'm sure you'll understand one day. I hope so anyway. Sheesh. Why you gotta be so cryptic? Number 024 laughs at this. It is the purest smile I have cataloged. I know about comparing it to anything that this is a smile of pure joy. I detect Snowy playing at my feet. After playing at 024's feet too, Snowy runs off about 3 meters and then turns around. Its tail moves vigorously back and forth. Soon afterwards, Noi sits on the ground and looks up at 024. I watch number 024 crouch past his head. I'm thinking back about other things. Things besides fighting and defeating the nearest enemy. My own objective. Someone to meet. I still do not fully comprehend. But the way she is playing with Snowy tonight looks more fun than ever. Her smile seems very natural. If the answer she discovered is the origin of that smile, I would like to understand that someday too. I can feel that desire budding inside me. Alright, but with that, we're gonna leave this episode here. Because 53 minutes, I feel that's a good length of an episode. And in the next episode, Oh, we're going to continue and probably finish Labris' story. This is long and oh boy, I feel it's just going to, oh, it's going to only end in heartbreak. But leaving that there, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.